Russia produces three times more artillery ammunition than all NATO countries, said the commander of the alliance's joint forces in Europe, Christopher Cavalli. According to Cavalli, Kiev depends on American deliveries because the production of shells in European countries is lower than Ukraine's needs. Russia has a 3 to 1 advantage over the countries of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, Cavalli said. The general also noted that Washington should provide Ukraine with more Atakins tactical ballistic missile options. Ukrainians have been husbanding their shells in anticipation of the supply running out, Cavalli said. The situation is extremely serious, he added. The top U.S. general in Europe said that American contributions of artillery systems, ammunition, and air defense interceptors are extremely critical for Ukrainian defense, but right now, Ukraine is running short on both of these. If we do not continue to support Ukraine, Ukraine will run out of artillery shells and will run out of air defense interceptors in fairly short order, General Cavalli said. Based on my experience in 37-plus years in the U.S. military, if one side can shoot and the other side can't shoot back, the side that can't shoot back loses. General Cavalli, a Russia specialist in the U.S. Army, rarely speaks in public. His comments during his annual appearance before Congress to present his command's budget request and priorities were a sobering assessment of the impact of the U.S. delay in sending Ukraine a $60 billion aid package that congressional Republicans have stalled for six months. Russian propagandists subverting U.S. support for Ukraine. Internal Kremlin documents show that Russian trolls have been stoking anti-Ukraine sentiment among U.S. lawmakers to undermine public support for Ukraine, which Congress has delayed since fall 2023, a Washington Post article said. The publication also cited political strategists who've contributed to writing thousands of fabricated news articles, social media posts, and comments that promote American isolationism. The Washington Post said it based its reporting on a trove of internal Kremlin documents that it had obtained from a European intelligence service. These documents are dated between May 2022 and August 2023. Ukraine has ceded territory since U.S. security assistance has stalled and has had to ration weaponry, including air defense capacity, to withstand Russia's ongoing invasion, which is benefiting from supplies from Iran and North Korea, as well as auxiliary support from China. Restrictive measures imposed by the West, Australia and Japan on Russia for warmongering have proven ineffective at stopping its war machine. The Washington Post's report came on the eve when Congress is scheduled to reconvene after a two-week recess. House of Representatives Speaker Mike Johnson promised to bring a Senate bill to the floor that includes some $60 billion in funding for Ukraine. It has been collecting dust for 55 days. Johnson claims to support assisting Ukraine. Former U.S. Ambassador to Ukraine Stephen Pfeiffer wrote in an opinion piece in Washington-based The Hill. He has multiple paths to make that happen, but he needs to take action. However, more far-right Republicans in the lower legislative chambers are calling his ouster, most notably Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene, who is a believer in QAnon conspiracy theories. We are losing our country to the illegal invasion. That's happening every single day at our southern border, she told former Fox News anchorman Tucker Carlson's show on X about the Central and South American migrants that have been crossing the U.S. border by the thousands.